Hey there, everybody. I'm Mike Delisio. I'm Z Garcia. And I'm Camilla Claghorn. And today we're going to be taking a look at a small box card game called Oh My Orchids. Yes. Yes, coming you got from, it. You got, to, you got to put that emphasis there. Uh, coming from publisher Origami Games. Uh, as I said, small box game mm -hmm. uh, themed around uh, flowers from, I believe it is Singapore. Let me make sure I'm getting that uh, correct. Yes. Oh. Yes. Nailed it. Um, should and have trusted yourself. <laughs> I did not. I should have trusted myself. I should have just gone in with my gut. But relatively simple game. Uh, let me just take a minute to show you how the game plays, and then we'll come back and we'll let you know what we think about it. Okay. Here we see. Oh my! Orchids all set up. We've got three decks of cards. Here you've got the orchid cards, where you're going to have a row of three. You've got the flora cards, where you're going to have a row of four. And you've got these seed cards where you will have a row of five. Each player will also have a player area in front of them known as their garden. And they're going to have one of these player aid cards that not only tell them what they do on their turn, but they also give them some information for end game scoring. But it's a relatively simple game. You're going to be doing one of two things on your turn. You're either going to be gathering seed cards or you're going to be planting flowers using those seed cards. So let me show you how that works. If you're going to be picking seed cards, you're going to be picking them either by color or by type, but you have to take all of the cards that match whatever you're going for. So for example, if you wanted to go by color, you can take these two blue. You couldn't take just one or the other. If you wanted to go by color, you can take a yellow. You could take a green or you can take a red. If you're going by type, you might say, I'm going to go by this type of seed and I'm going to take these two cards, or I'm going to take this one card because that's the only representative of that seed, or I'm going to take these two cards. So let's say I did that. I take the cards into my garden. At the end of my turn, these are going to get refilled with two more. And then the next player in clockwise order is going to go either picking seed cards or planting flowers. When you plant flowers, you're going to be looking at the bottom of the card to tell you what the requirement to plant that card is. So for this spider lily, it's telling you that it takes three of the same type of seed to be able to plant that flower. For the false bird of paradise, for example, you need to have four cards of different colors to be able to do that. Checkered hibiscus, three different types of seeds. You can kind of see those are relatively simple. These orchid cards are worth more points because as you can see, each of these flowers has a point value that you will score at the end of the game. But the orchid cards are a bit more challenging. So for example, this card needs four of the same type of seed, but all of different colors. So a little bit more challenging, worth more points, however. Dancing ladies here, you need uh, three different sets of two cards of the same color. Okay, so two blues, two reds, two greens, for example. Uh, and, and again, a little bit trickier to pull off, so you get that. Um, one thing that is important to note, though, is that you have a limit, a seed limit of seven cards. So if at any point you want to gather more seed cards than seven, you are welcome to do so. But you have to discard down to seven. And for every card that you discard, you place it face down underneath your player aid card. That is a composted card, and it's worth minus one point at the end of the game. You're going to get your points based off of the points that are printed on the flowers, and then you're going to get a potential variety bonus for having different types of flowers. You will get bonus points for that. You'll score the points uh, for, for the flowers, the face value, any variety bonus, subtracting one point for every composted seed that you've placed under your card, and then whoever has the highest number of points is going to be the winner of Oh My Orchids. Let's head back and let you know what we think. All right, so there you go, uh, a relatively simple set collection style game mm -hmm. with, uh, I think, a theme that is going to be what maybe might help it stand out because mm -hmm. as far as the me mechanisms in the game, it's pretty standard stuff, things that I've it never, is. you know, right. that, nothing I haven't yeah. seen before, I suppose, but uh, it, sure, it surely looks nice and it's nice it to have uh, something that is representing, you know, maybe a country that I don't see a lot of games kind of set in. So mm -hmm. I, I kind of like that. So 
What are your kind of high-level thoughts on, the, on yeah. what's happening here? And I'll just speak to that. I mean, I feel like we're kind of um, getting a lot of nature games yeah. right now, you know, and I'm, and I'm here for that. Like, I, I really enjoy nature mm -hmm. games. I'm mm -hmm. not tired of them. But I also get that it is very, we're inundated with them. What mm -hmm. I really think that, that they did a smart choice here is kind of just highlighting that. I like that they, it's, it's a popular kind of thing right now, but they went very specific with it. Yeah. You know, the flowers of Singapore to give it that representation. I, and I think they did it very well. It's very, very pretty. Um, very, very simple game as well. What I mm -hmm. liked about it is it's it's just a deck of cards, um, and with that, there's no rules. After the rules explanation, that's it. You just sit down and play. It's very approachable. I think the only one hang-up I had was um, a couple times, a couple rounds to understand the seeds or colors mm -hmm. and understanding that it's a little mentally trippy until you get it. You know, you're like, wait, are these the same? This is different, but you know, kind of, but once you get it, it's really easy. Just definitely trippy in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. For such a simple game, mechanically, it is a little bit to wrap your head around, okay, the, the, the one the, the one seed and the three seed are almost numbers, right? You, you yes. have one seed on the card or you have three seeds on the card, and you can either go by seed type or color type, and it does take a little bit to wrap mm -hmm. your mind around. And, and right. that, plus the way that you spend those seeds to kind of plant the flowers, right, which is where mm -hmm. you yes. get your points. Um, <laughs> the iconography is not bad, but there is a lot of it, and there were a couple of times that we had to make some kind of judgments on, this mm. seems to make the most sense on how this works. Right. Um, you know, they did say that there were some more clarifications if you, I, I think if you maybe went to a website, but I did not do that. Okay, so, okay. Uh, I, I don't, I'm not sure on that, but I believe that's the case. I think it's pretty good. I think yeah. the iconography is fine. I did not have a problem once we figured that out, what things meant. Mm -hmm. I think the trippy part is color is easy. Color is like, yeah. you know, green, yellow, red, whatever. It's the fact that the seeds are also a number mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they don't change the four seed is always the four seed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you have to remember that because you're all, I was at first in the game I'm looking for that seed in a combination other than two, let's say. Yeah. I'm like, no, no, yes. that's always that seed. Right. Right. And because some of the scoring cards count the total number of seeds, yes. I was thinking, so the four seeds are the way to go if I want a bunch. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. That's it. It just it <laughs> yeah, kind of right, messes yeah. you up. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if you see that seed, that is that <clears throat> one you're looking for. It, right. Not four of a specific seed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So that was a little that was a little tricky. Yeah. I think the theme you guys are saying you both like it. Mm -hmm. I think it's inoffensive. Sure. sure. I don't mm -hmm. know if I say, oh man, Singapore really comes through here. The <laughs> flowers have their names, and there's yeah. a little you know um, description at the top. But I thought the theme was fine. I thought it was, again, inoffensive. It's the kind of game no one's going to walk by and spill water on your table because they hate it so much. <laughs> <laughs> they may want to water your flowers. I mean, Maybe, actually. That, yeah, yeah. That, that might be true. Um, as far as mechanically, it's really by the numbers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it is the simplest collect, either same color all of it or same type all of it, and then spend that set for a thing that scores. Oh, and if you have different flowers, get bonus points at the end. Mm -hmm. I, that's it, it's incredibly simple. The yeah. couple of small little things that save it for me, you can only have seven, and if you go above seven, you have to compost the extra, i.e. Mm -hmm. negative points. Yeah. I like that rule a lot. It me reminds too. me of um, Our Echo, this little mm -hmm. Japanese game in which you're managing a hand of cards, and if you go above a certain number, you need to illegally dump trash from your truck. <laughs> oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. So same thing, same idea, I like that one. And that was the, that was the main twist I thought was cool, actually. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think if there was something else in there that I thought, oh, that's clever. But that was the main one, I really do like that limitation. It's a small thing, but mm -hmm. it, it manages to give this game something a little bit different than a lot of other games where you're just collecting stuff and trading in a set. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. That's the main, that hook and the way you draft the cards I think is slightly different. It gives you more, I think you have a little bit more agency as a player to be like the type of seed or the color of seed. Mm -hmm. That does lead to some times where, where you can kind of be like, 
you can pivot kind of midway and be right. like, oh, you know what? I was going for that orchid, but I, I think the Z's got that on his next turn, and I can't. Mm-hmm. So I've got a little bit more options here to, to kind of play around with. Right. Yeah. And Those def- are the two kind of things that set it apart slightly. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. And you definitely have to be able to pivot because yes. you have to be able to watch you know, what people are doing to be like, all right, they're probably going for that goal, so I'll go for that one, but this also will serve this one, so I can get that one or this one if they take that one. Okay, cool. That's my best move. Mm-hmm. You know, so you do have to maintain that flexibility. So you talked about it being very simple and I think that to me is a huge pro you said it sounded like kind of that was almost a little negative like oh it was you know the only thing it brought to the table for me it was very positive I Mm. love I mean it's a simple deck of cards with simple rules that's what I want from this side this Mm. kind of game Mm -hmm. I really I think that's to me where it shines is it doesn't try to overcomplicate it Um, the the holdback for me on it was I think the end game scoring it it just seemed again like oh and we have to score every kind of flower come on have we Mm -hmm. seen it you know it just seemed like oh and another opportunity to score and another opportunity I'm, I'm just kind of getting fatigued of that I think a little bit it's like no just let us score the cards we collect and that be enough you know it actually in one of my plays it actually worked very much in my benefit so it's not this is not me being yeah. salty like you had seven <laughs> different flowers you didn't even realize <laughs> I didn't I was like oh look at that I maxed out <laughs> the score you know so it's like it worked very well but it d- d- definitely had that feel of like well I didn't do that for the flowers so sure. why did we even need that rule you know what I mean? Yeah, I, yeah, one I lucked it. into it, one didn't. So yeah. I think the only reason I can think of, although I, I tend to agree with what you're saying, is that the the easier flowers are going to be tend to be the same exact flowers. Mm-hmm. So you know, I think that this kind of oh, incentivizes the players to to try to go for those orchids, which are the harder ones to get. They're worth more points, mm-hmm. but the payoff is also that they're going to all be unique. Whereas the kind of the flora cards are the, are the simpler ones. You'll you know four of the same color. Well, that's pretty easy to pull off. Sure. Right. You know, so sometimes you'll just like you know what. I can do that one. I'm going to do it. Yeah. I think this kind of incentivizes you to go for some of those trickier ones, maybe. Right. Uh, but but generally speaking, I agree. It's, it's kind of, again, it's nothing we haven't seen before. Right. So, mm-hmm. All right. Let's just get to, uh, to fi- I guess I'll go ahead and start with, with my final sure. thoughts. Okay. Um, so so a, a simple card game with a inoffensive, I might say approachable theme. You know, I, mm-hmm. I do, I do kind of like this. And, and where it may not be getting too deep into the Singaporean <coughs> culture, if I said the, if that's the correct word, Singaporean uh, culture, I do like that at least it is highlighting, you know, uh, flora from from that region. I think that's that's a nice little touch. I like the fact there's a little bit of a race element to it, where you can kind of push yeah. that end game, and, yeah. and, and that's always something I like, along with the composting. So I'm 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 coming at a seven. I recommend it. It's not terribly innovative. Mm-hmm. It's not something that I think you're going to come back to over and over again. But it's a game that I feel like I can show to just about anybody, and that mm-hmm. and has a couple little twists, and that's enough for me to give it a seven. Can't go higher because it's it's not very unique. Right. Yeah. Um, I am going to go a little higher. I'm going to go to 7.5. I really enjoyed this. I, I do find it inoffensive. I think I, I put it kind of in the same category as like herbaceous or something mm. like that, where it's like, <laughs> this is one that I want a quick little filler. Or I just want to not think, but still feel successful. It's a very relaxing game to mm. me. And for that, it's, it's one that I would definitely recommend for that and one that I would seek out in those plays. You know, it's like, oh, again, like in that kind of herbaceous, you know, category where it's like, I just want something light and easy that's going to be pleasing and um, do some basic set collection. Mm -hmm. I I like the couple little twists we talk about. I think sets it above some of those other games, and it's one that I would seek out plays in for sure. I'm coming in at a six for this one. I like it. I don't, you know, I think it's fine. I enjoyed it. I think it really does suffer from not bringing anything new to the table, unfortunately for me. I just keep seeing other games I've liked for many years in some cases, uh, represented on the table. And so that's the biggest detriment for me. Yeah. It's just mechanically, there's just really nothing that interesting or splashy. The scoring especially is very by the numbers. Yeah. You know, the... Literally. Four, <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. four of the same color. Three but different colors. It's like, okay, this is very well-tread mm-hmm. territory. I do like the couple of little twists, the the seven uh, card hand limit, and then the other thing that I finally thought of is the the Jaipur. If you're taking something, you have to take all of it. Yeah. Yes, which I do like that. Right. But again, I just referenced a game which sure. is very very well known that does that. Mm-hmm. I like it in this. It works fine. I like those two things working in tandem. Uh, it just didn't. Again, I feel like I'm going to forget about it unfortunately mm-hmm. because it does blend in. Mechanically, I'm, I'm, and thematically, while fun and pretty, 
it's so in right now, it also will work against it. Yeah. Hmm. If this was about, I don't know, um, mythology from this place in the world, mm -hmm. that would help it stand out right now. Flora from this place in the world, that's everywhere. Yeah. I mean, not from this place, but mm. flora in yeah. general. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think yeah. it helped it stand out, but I think there's also, you know, demographic, and I'll put myself in that, that is more interested in it because of this. Sure, sure, absolutely. You know? I mean, there is so, a reason this theme is popular. Mm. I just think it's maybe not necessarily helping it find a new audience mm. yeah. that okay. isn't already into okay. these kinds of games and is going to play this one and go, oh, I love the look. But mechanically, I've played it already in, in other places. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, yeah, for sure. nothing, you know, not a big knock on it. I'm just coming in at a six. All right. Well, there you have it. That is Oh My Orchids. There it is. <laughs> Thank you for uh, sticking around for another Dice Tower review. Until next time, I'm Mike Delicio. I'm Z Garcia. And I'm Camilla Cleghorn. Have fun planting seeds and growing beautiful, beautiful orchids. Aww. So pretty.